Studio reporting live for iVisionTV.net. Tonight, we are at the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society's Man and Woman of the Year Grand Finale Gala. Over the course of 10 weeks, 12 candidates throughout the Tampa Bay area did a lot of campaigning to raise funds for this society. And tonight will be the big reveal on who will be the Man and Woman of the Year. auction room with Tina and her friends and we just like to get to know what it is with the society that Tina got involved with. I am here uh, rooting for Matt McNamara who is up for the Man of the Year award and he got involved because his father-in-law passed away from leukemia and we have been friends with he and his wife and his father-in-law for years and years and wanted to support this cause ourselves. One of our candidates for tonight for Man of the Year. And um, before we begin, I'd like to know what made you decide on this organization and why did you get involved with it? Well, lost a couple of very close friends these last two years. One of my cousin and one good friend, uh, Delchad De and uh, Anil. So that's one of the main reasons I started uh, getting involved with the organization. And when a friend of mine uh, told me about it and said, get involved and nominated me, I accepted the nomination and decided to run for it and raise some money. That's great. So how many people did you have on your campaign? Uh, about six people I had in my campaign uh, from work and some close friends that helped me out with this. What was your strategy on trying to raise funds? I had no strategy whatsoever coming in. Just wanted to get in and see what the best I could do. Raise some money, raise a lot of awareness. And that was my goal was to get, raise some awareness. And doing that, raise some money. So by the end of tonight, how much money do you think collectively with all the candidates are going to be raised for? I think last I checked a few weeks ago, they were at $130,000. So we're hoping at least quarter million, if not more. That's great. Did you get a chance to meet the, the, the boy and girl of the year? Uh, yes, I met with them, took some pictures, and fell in love with the girl Lucy. She's a fantastic girl. I mean, amazing. Uh, Steven is a nice guy. And uh, I hope I, I, can, I can make a difference in their life. That's the whole idea. If you win Man of the Year, what will be your first duty? Uh, I don't know what it means. It's a title. I don't care if I win or not. I, I just want to raise the awareness and make sure that everybody knows about it. Everybody should get involved and, 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 and help out to, to raise money to find the cure. That's my goal. Someday, hopefully with this, we'll raise enough awareness for somebody uh, to take enough interest to raise some some cure for it. That's all. That's good. Well, you know what? For tonight, for all the 12 candidates, I think they're all winners. All the supporters are winners, too, and it's a great cause, but good luck. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thanks. Dr. Bruce Landon, he's one of the nominees for Man of the Year, and we've been working very hard for weeks and to have him win for Man of the Year, so I'm here to support him tonight. Were you there for all 10 weeks of the campaigning? Yes, I'm a surgical coordinator. He gave a large portion of all of his surgeries to the Leukemia Lymphoma Society, so we're really, really excited, and we hope he wins. Wow, that's great. Um, We'll cut this out part, but um, for next year, what would you think? What would you do differently as far as campaigning? I well, we'll find out if he wins. I don't think we'd do anything different. He was extremely generous. Our patients that came into the office really wanted to support LLS. It's a fantastic cause, and really, I I just wouldn't do anything different. It was awesome. One of our candidates for tonight's Man of the Year. So, Martin, please tell us how did you get involved with this organization? Well, my mom died of lymphoma, and 
I've also been approached by some a friend who's life threatened with leukemia, so I wanted to help raise funds for the to fight these diseases. Very nice. So, how many people do you have in your campaign? Uh, well, we've had Natalia and Kamala helping us out with this campaign. It's been a small team, but we've also had a website designer who's generously donated some time, and we've had a couple of other volunteers. Get a chance to meet the, the boy and girl of the year? Yeah, I just took my photo uh, with Lucy, and of course I've also met Stevie, the boy of the year. If you do win Man of the Year, what would be one of the, your um, criteria for next year? Uh, next year, I would uh, start working on this farther in advance, and we would try to bring in a lot more people to our events, but we would also try to encourage some of the people that are have more financial resources to get bigger. Okay, well, congratulations on all the candidates for tonight, and good luck, and thank you. Thank you very much uh, for uh, your support. Hi, I'm here with Ramiz at the gala, and we just want to know how you heard about this event. I heard it through my wife. She works with uh, Bruce Landon, and we're here to support the Bruce Landon uh, Foundation. So I think it's a great uh, contribution what he's been doing to the community and helping a lot of people here. It's really nice. nice were you involved here. anywhere with the campaigning? Uh, not directly, just indirectly through my wife and you know helping her through this and stuff. So, do you see yourself yeah. getting more involved next year? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we've been to a few other events of his, and it's been really great. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.